Hello and welcome everyone, this is your friend Imal Langal. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install elementary OS on VirtualBox in Windows 10. So, at first guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and after that hit the bell icon so that you are connected with me. So now let, let's leave this here and now let's start the process of installation of elementary OS. So, first of all, to install the elementary OS on VirtualBox, you have to download the VirtualBox and install it. Uh, you can download the VirtualBox from this link. I'll give this link a description so not to worry about it. So just click on the Windows host and download the VirtualBox for the Windows. So after downloading the VirtualBox, you have to download the ISO file of Elementary OS. So you can download the ISO file of Elementary OS from this link. I'll give this link a description so not to worry about it. So now to download the Elementary OS, click on the custom and I'll just type zero and download the uh, elementary OS. Just click on that and you can download it from here. So after downloading the elementary OS and installing the VirtualBox, uh, just open the VirtualBox. Okay, after opening the VirtualBox, click on new and type the name of the operating system. Okay, now choose the type of the operating system. So it is Linux type, just click on Linux. And now down here, just click on uh, other Linux, 64-bit. Uh, so my operating system is 64-bit elementary acids. So I'm clicking 64 feet. Now click on next. Now you have to allocate the memory size for the elementary OS. So I recommend you to allocate at least 2 GB, 2 gigabytes of RAM for the element OS. So I'm going to allocate 2 gigabytes. Now click on next. Choose the second option uh, to create the virtual hard disk. Just click on create. Choose the first option and click on next. And choose the first option again and click on next. Now you have to create the virtual hard disk for the element OS. So I recommend you to allocate at least 20 GB. 20 gigabytes of hard disk uh, for the elementary OS. Now, just click on create. Okay, now click on settings. Click on advanced. So, um, keep it bi-directional. Again, keep it bi-directional. It will enable you to copy and paste file between the host operating system and the elementary OS. So, make sure to keep it bi-directional. After that, click on systems, click on processor. I recommend you to allocate at least two to three processor um, CPUs for the elementary OS. So I'm going to allocate two CPUs. So after that, click on display and make it make sure that it is full so that it will give the uh, maximum graphics uh, video memory for the elementary OS. So after that, click on storage and click on this empty. And now click on this icon. So choose the ISO file of elementary OS, which you have just downloaded. So go to the folder and choose that and click on open. Now everything is set up. So now let's start the installation. Now click on start. You can just close this. It may take a while to load the elementary OS. So let me show you that. Let me show you. Uh, you can switch to the uh, full screen mode from here. Okay, choose your language and click on install the elementary. Okay, uh, now choose the keyboard layout as for your recommend and click on continue. Now choose the second option 
to install the third-party software for the graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. If you choose the first option, then the installation process will be longer. Um, so choose the second option and click on continue. Okay, after that, click on the first option to erase the disk and install the elementary. So it will erase the virtual hard drive which you have just created and it will install the elementary on that particular drive. So now click on install now. Click on continue. Now choose your location and after that click on continue. Okay now uh, type your username and password for the elementary OS test row. And after that click on continue again. Okay now the elementary OS, elementary OS is installing in your virtual box so you have to wait for some minutes until it is successfully installed. Make sure that you are connected to a network uh, because uh, the installer may require to download the, some files to install the elementary OS so make sure that you are connected to a network to install the elementary OS successfully okay now click on restart now button and restart the elementary OS Okay, now the elementary OS is installing, uh, sorry, restarting. Okay, now type your password. Okay, you can see here, the elementary OS is successfully installed in my virtual box in Windows 10. So, in this way, you can install the elementary OS in the virtual box. So, hey guys, thank you for watching. I'll make such video if you like, share, and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day. Jai Nepal.